over now to the purchase side of things if there's no other questions. Um, now what I'm going to show is the system does have what we call an OCR, an optical character recognition software that's integrated with the system that you could send an invoice. So I switched over here to Outlook, the online version, it will work the same with the desktop version, but we do have a plugin available for Business Central. So here, based on the email address, as, as long as you have it set up as a contact of a specific customer or vendor, I could click on that and it will go ahead and recognize the specific, in this case, the vendor, that this is for, so we just mock one up here for a Verizon invoice, and you'll see here that it pulls up the Verizon card directly in Outlook. So at this point, I don't have to jump between the different systems. This is just directly here. I could see balances. I could drill down to any one of those. But the nice feature also is here, we could click on the three dots and then send, and send the attachment to an OCR service. So I click and send to OCR. It wants me to confirm the attachment. I simply click OK, and then it's going to go ahead and send it over to. Oh, this is this is coming into our own uh, website. I mean, rather our own email. Okay, good. Like AP, yeah. AP at dot dot dot. You know, servicego.com. Correct. Yeah. So as long as we have whichever email address sent sent it as a contact of that vendor or customer, it works both ways. Uh, you're able to use this plugin, and it will pull up the specific vendor, and then you could send things or pull up the card or anything like that within here. Okay. So now that we sent it out to the OCR service, um, if we go back here to the home page, we have a section here called My Incoming Documents. At this point, I can receive from the OCR service. It's going to bring back, pull back the data that it read. I've already mocked data ah. earlier here, so that you can see here, it pulls in the information from the attachment, and it has that information all within here. And then I could go ahead and create the document. So going through here, I mean, once that completes, then if we go under purchases and then purchase invoices, we would find that invoice within here. So here's the Verizon invoice. And then you're able to, I mean, have different attachments here. So you could see that invoice afterwards as well. You have that available within here. And then you could also set up uh, quote, I mean, text to account. So that way it knows anytime it has a certain text, it should go to a certain account. So, so that way you have the invoice within here. And then at this point, the only real required fields is a vendor invoice number. You enter that, your amounts here. And then you could also dictate, I mean, your due date or the payment terms code, depending on what's needed. Okay. Is the end now within here? Uh, I know you guys were asking about workflows and and all that within the system. This one we we've created one as well. So under here we could go ahead and and send an approval request at this point before we could post it, and then you'll get the notification here. An approval request has been sent. The status will change to pending approval, and we won't be able to post the transaction until it is approved. So at this point, once it's pending approval, I have another team member license, I would say here on the other window. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just refresh Are this. You You're thinking ahead. So in Outlook, you do get email notifications as well. So here you get the purchase invoice. Um, you could actually do have a document view as well. I have to authenticate one more time here, but it, it allows you to go ahead and actually have a preview here as well. Um, you can't exactly approve from here directly, but at, at this point you could go ahead and open that request and then approve from within here. So, and if we switch back over to our regular user, we'll be able to see that this new thing has now Go ahead and reopen it. It's going to show as released, and then once it's released, we're able to post it. So, like always, the last step will be just to post it. I go ahead and post it, and that finalizes that transaction. And then now it's an outstanding balance under that vendor. Now, also showing here the Outlook connector um, from Outlook once again. Um, if you get any emails from a vendor saying maybe something's past due, things like that. Um, the nice part is we don't have to be jumping between systems. I could easily check within here my vendor card and then review that information. So in this case, they're letting me know two invoices are past due. I could simply click on the plugin. And like I said, right now I'm in the web version of it, but you could also do this on the desktop. 
and then I could just simply click on the amount and verify if, it, if it's actually the case if I do owe them and actually pull up the invoices directly from Outlook as well. So I could see what the invoice is for, and at this point I could apply or send, forward it to my accounts payable person to go ahead and pay these off. Do you recommend, Bob?